Uh, as a, a two-star admiral uh, representative, Sestak, this must strike you in a, in a fairly unique way, uh, just given the responsibilities of leading uh, communities like this. I honestly believe that with authority and responsibility, with both of those two goes accountability. You said the word earlier, and this lack of accountability, not just at Penn State, where for decades they covered something up, but across America is what people are most outraged about right now. They've lost faith, they've lost trust in our institutions because they believe that the powerful and the connected are those that are paid attention to. And any sort of account personal accountability by our leaders is absent. That's why I think why you see, whether it's the Tea Party or the Occupy Wall Streeters, there's this sense of outrage, justifiable, that it's undermining our sense of national unity and what leaders are supposed to, to be like. I think we're in a fight right now across this great nation for the character of America. Our character has always been best marked by a wonderful alliance between rugged individualism and the common enterprise, the common wheel. Take the military, which is merely a reflection of our society. SEAL Team 6, rugged individuals, but they came together for the greater effort, willing to sacrifice for that. Understand that there's no service greater than serving others above yourself. I think we've lost that a bit here because of our leaders who have let people down. This sense that we have here in America, everyone striving for the American dream, but always measuring their individual achievement as part of the greater effort. That our collective resources provided ladders and rungs on those ladders for the opportunity that you could contribute to all of America to go forward. We're losing that because leaders actually feel they shouldn't be held accountable on Wall Street, corporation leadership, Part leaders of both parties. Who wants to be accountable for what happened in Wall Street? And that feeling is why people are starting to back and say, what's going on here? <laughs> and that's why we're having outsiders who are making greater achievements than those in charge of our institutions. Yeah. Who says the Tea Party doesn't have influence, yeah. even though I may disagree with them? You know, I watch our parties. It's about uh, whether our institutions and the reality within that institution is furthered, rather than the reality in which people on the outside of the institutions, whether their reality is improved by the leaders. You know, it's what happened in the Arab Spring. A Tunisian street peddler right. who had his goods of his labor stolen from him set himself afire and the whole Middle East ablaze because the institutions weren't taking care of the person. And that, to some degree, in a much less violent way, is why people uh, here in America are quite concerned and it's more of an anti-incumbent year than a pro or an anti-Republican or Democrat. I, I strongly feel our institutions will let people down.